Did anyone else want to speak? No? Okay. Good evening, Robert Lombardo, 12 High Street. Um, as I say, Mr. Goodman, you sent me a note to the Wesley Sun saying, try attending a meeting of the Board of Finances my fourth years, and accusations of my bias have been made by school district and school committee members each year. I have had children in the district for 14 consecutive years now, and I have the right to be critical of, this, of the district as a parent and a taxpayer. And you say you often tax, use the word that you're a taxpayer. And I uh, note that there doesn't seem to be any irony in your statement when you make that claim. Uh, I thought you believed in free speech, but apparently only when it serves your purpose. So um, as you know, and I want to make sure everybody else on the board here, there has been a lot of talk about uh, the board and whether they're independent and if they're biased. And I think that Mr. Uh, Goodman's comments on social media have uh, sullied the integrity of this board. And you can uh, ignore it, and maybe you're not getting that feedback, but I can tell you that's what the, the focus has been on, and I think it hurts you, and it's been on for a while now. And Mr. Goodman, if you're going to denigrate or criticize me, you might want to uh, check your spelling. I mean, your Facebook, all your Facebook posts say J. Goodman, University of Colorado at Boulder. You don't even spell Colorado right. So if you're going to take a shot at somebody, work on your spelling, okay? Uh, and the other thing is free speech, Mr. Goodman. Not too many people understand free speech. Uh, many lawyers don't. The solicitors for the town of Wesley certainly don't. But let me just give you a little bit of a, uh, a background before you use free speech. There's the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution of the United States, the Bill of the Rights, Bill of Rights. Those are pr to protect the public from the government. I have never been a member of the government in any shape, way, shape, or form ever in my life. I can never uh, uh, prevent somebody's free speech. You, however, are the member of the government. You are the only one who could uh, infringe somebody's free speech. So to say that I am infringing your free speech is, shows your ignorance of the First Amendment. And you, I know uh, a lot of other people uh, harbor the same ignorance. But if you're going to criticize me on that, I think you should learn a little bit about the First Amendment. I cannot take away your First Amendment rights, and I would never take away your First Amendment rights. Now, on Jan January 19th, you started comments on uh, the Wesley Concerned Citizens page about the school budget before it was even brought to your brought before you. And I asked, sent an email to you and I asked you to refrain from it. And you didn't. And you didn't respond to me. But some of these comments, I think that the other members need to know about. I didn't have their email addresses, but I would have made it clear to them. I mean, there's, there's many of them, but some of them are worse than the others. No, no, that, this is Mr. Goodman. No, that is bad news for the taxpayers that the district lied to us for the past two years about how much budget they needed to operate. That money should be coming out of the district budget, not going to fund more positions. Now, this is January. Now, you, you might be right. I don't know. But you shouldn't be saying that stuff if you're the, 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 the finance director because you sully it. You sully the board. And there were worse. The most recent ride data shows Wesley spends 4000 per student, more than the state average. And spell that right. That's $12 million extra we spend on our district and the results we get. On and on and on, denigrating, uh, denigrating the Wesley School Department. Now, maybe you're, you're, it's true, but then how do you expect to sit down across the table with uh, the superintendent of schools or any of the school committee chairman and have a negotiation with those people. I don't see how that helps anybody. Now, you did respond when I wrote to Mr. Marone and the school board people. You did respond, uh, I believe, my record over the last two years serving as the chair of Board of Finance speaks for itself. The fact is that the Board of Finance has made unanimous recommendations regarding the school district budget that it more adequately funds it. Again, uh, 
I don't know why you're talking about this. I've looked through, I've looked at the other members. I don't see them commenting about the school budget on social media. I don't think it makes you look good. And then here's, a, here's an email to Mark Garceau. Mark Garceau, you write, in more than a decade as a consumer, my experience is um, that the Wesley School District has done little to distinguish itself, especially with regard to serving advanced students. Mr. Lombardo is right, I am biased. I've had three children go to the district and have had to deal with the numbers of poor teachers and administrators, some real good ones too. And this year the district has the nerve to ask for 2.5 million in spending and new positions. Do not lecture me about the ability to deliver programs and services. The district does a profoundly average job with an extraordinary amount of funding. Now the other members were CC'd on this. I don't see how you can, you can say things like that and then be viewed as independent. And I don't think you are. And then you go into details and you want this closed and that closed. But not only are you biased, but you're hypocritical because you do not hold the town of Westerly to the same standards that you do the school board. There's more, more, much more money wasted by the town than the school department, in my opinion. I just can't believe the amount of money that's wasted in this town. It's a wealthy town. We shouldn't be worrying about how much money we can spend for children in this town. If they collected the taxes correctly in this town, and, and, and tax the wealthy houses or the expensive houses as much as they do for the middle uh, class houses or the middle range houses, we'd have a lot more money. But I brought this up a lot of times and I don't hear you talking about this one, Mr. Goodman, that if you, a house sells for $12 million in Watch Hill, the town's only assessing it for half that. But if it's, if it's a house sells for $250,000 on State Street, the assessment is about this, just about perfect. They're leaving a lot of money. So it's not always about uh, cutting taxes and collecting it correctly as well. I don't hear you say anything about that. It's just constant, the school department, school department, school department, you lose credibility. But more important, you sullied the Board of Finance. And people are talking about changing the charter to change the Board of Finance now because of you and only you. And then you write to Ms. Bowdy, she complained about this one. You write a comment, how, a, and how about a walkout to demand the district get rid of incompetent teachers and administrators? That's your comment. You're on the Board of Finance and you're writing a comment like that. But you don't have the integrity or the, 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 the fortitude to even name who these administrators and teachers are. And she takes offense at that. You, can, you have a First Amendment right to say whatever you want, but you shouldn't be sitting there if you need to run your mouth. Can I just explain? You, I believe you understand this, but the, the town council is the one that appointed me, and the town council can remove me. So right. feel free to ask them to remove me. Trust me, I don't get any joy out of sitting here for two months to, to now sit up here and get attacked by you, okay? I would much rather not be doing this. So please, get them to remove me. I'm talking to you. This is a public hearing. I, I understand. I'm just, I'm just... Yeah, I get that. I get that. This board cannot vote to, to remove me. Right. I'm trying to appeal to your intellect that you're not helping anything. You're hurting it. You're hurting the process. And to Ms. Bowdy says, this will, the town council wish to remove me. They have the means to do so. You said the same thing to her. This will not change the fact that the school committee has negotiated one of the worst and most expensive contracts in Rhode Island. Wrong. The worst and most expensive contract in Rhode Island was the one that Derek Kennedy negotiated with the police union last year. Because he's an idiot. He can't read. The first time that retired police officers in 20 years now have health insurance till they're 65. Again, you're not consistent with your criticism. I could go on and on and on you, about your public comments. Now, I'm not the only one. Last year, Dick Smith wrote a letter to the editor. 
I'm just going to read the first couple paragraphs. So it's not just me, the crazy guy. The Board of Finance was created by Charter in 1968 to give the citizens of Westerly the confidence that the Town Council would receive independent expert advice on the annual municipal and school budgets. My mentor on the board and its longtime chairman, the late Edward Maranzoni, instilled in all of us who served the unwavering principle of protecting the board's credibility as an independent, nonpartisan voice on budgetary matters. To do so meant that board members and especially board chairs always refrained from talking, taking public positions on political and election questions on which they might advise the council. That is until, until now. The current board chair publicly announced his opposition to the um, elementary school bond ballot questioning. Certainly is right as an individual. You have the right to do this, but you shouldn't be sitting there or at least move down. But you went head to head in the meetings with the school department every time. But it, it, it didn't have any, it wasn't effective because everybody knows you're biased against them, you're biased towards them. And there was another gentleman, I don't know who he is, uh, Charles Descano. He has kids in school too, he's a taxpayer. He says he's concerned about your statements as well. You're talking about you wanted to tie school spending to, to student performance. Go back to the school department and be on the school committee. I don't think you, I don't think that's right and, and, and other people don't. It looks ridiculous. You're a finance board. And you don't do the same thing with the town. I was looking at this, you, the, the amount you, the town spends on attorneys, 200 some thousand. I don't even know how you get a, a figure like that because nobody knows how much we're going to spend in, in legal fees. It's outrageous the amount of money it's spent in legal fees. And I think there was talk here last week or the week before about the Rhode Island Interlock Local Risk Management Trust. If you're so concerned about spending in Westerly, you would make sure that that was passed or that was, that was on the budget. Oh, and I just, and these are issues. You have a, a director of the animal shelter. She makes $50,000. I emailed you on this when Derek Kennedy bumped her up $10,000 to say she was going to do grants. She never did. He was trying to sneak in an extra $10,000 for her. But why do we have a management, a manager of an animal shelter? Everybody else uses the animal control officer. We have an animal <coughs> control officer who managed the Providence animal shelter. He's done all, all these animal shelters. He's more qualified than Tammy Laughlin, who just got the job because she got laid off at, at Pfizer's and needed a job. You don't criticize that, though. Only the school department. A waste of fifty thousand. Now, these people come in. They're they're looking they're looking for money. And a lot of these people, we're really lucky to have all the places that pick up the services that most towns have to pay for. It's just incredible. You throw them some money, but they take care of a, a big bulk of this. But there's other ones that are complete frauds, and you give money to every year. One of them that I found was the Greater North End Community Development Incorporation. They've come in. I don't know if they're coming in this year. They did. It's not itemized because I called, called them out. This is a nonprofit. It's not supposed to be engaging in, under the IRS rules, under politics. But when Derek Kennedy was, they were thinking about getting rid of Derek Kennedy, this organization writes a letter to the town supporting Derek Kennedy. It was clear politics. It was your buddy Selico and Gagne trying to get support for this guy. But here's how much it cost, uh, Derek charges them. In 2016-17, they received $7,500 from the town of Westerly that you gave him, Mr. Goodman. Uh, officer and liability insurance, 2,200. Utilities, 15. Office supplies, 600. Web page, 200. Salary, 1,500. All they did was traffic aisles, islands and neighborhood beautification, 1500 So the town gives them 7500 basically, to spend $1,500 to beautify their, their neighborhood. Next year it was 10000 They went up to 2500 They don't abide any of the rule, IRS rules. I asked for their minutes. 
They didn't provide them. When I did get them, they weren't adopted as they're supposed to be by the board of directors. They just don't do anything right. But this is, if you really want to cut costs, why don't you look at the, the town side, not just the, not just the, uh, the school side. So I re reiterate, reiterate, the focus in this session of the Board of Finance has been on you. Has been on you, Mr. Goodman, personally, and your bias, biases. That should not be what the focus is for the last several weeks. But you've done it, and I think you've sullied, and it's been disrespectful to the other members. All you had to do was refrain from public comments, and you have not. And you continue to do it. And, uh, and uh, so one more, uh, before I leave, just you be well served, making sure you use spell check when you're denigrating somebody, make sure you're spelling your university correctly, and know about free speech when you accuse me of violating your free speech rights. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I have questions on the information that was just brought so I can <clears throat> be a little more at ease if Mr. Lombardo would come back to the microphone, if I may. Mr. Lombardo, you just, if I, if I understood you correctly, and please correct me if I'm wrong, you spoke about the North End Crime Watch. Was that accurate? North, uh, they, they've changed names. I think it's now called the Greater North End Community Development Incorporated. So this North End Crime Watch is different from the one you just highlighted. Is that correct? Jeez, I don't know. They change, they, uh, I don't know. Who, uh, do you have a board of directors for the Crime Watch? Could you... No, I don't. Could you just reiterate the name that they were once under? I, I, I they used to be a different name. It was something about crime. Ah, uh, jeez, you know, you caught me. You caught me. I don't. No, no, I, no. I, because I see that we're funding them seventy five hundred dollars. I see that it started in fiscal year two thousand seventeen, ran again in two thousand eighteen, and I'm just wondering if this is the specific one you're speaking of, because obviously we would want to, or at least I would want to, go back, if not this year, at least for next year, in their subsidy package to make sure they're providing the service as opposed to just spending $1,500 towards a service. And we're, and we're in actuality Yeah, paying. and you should get the, 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 I got this information from the town of Westerly. I don't know, you know, I've got their tax returns as well. I, they get all their money from the town of Westerly, but they spend it on you know, office, they, they spend it on, uh, basically, if every community in the town of Westerly did this, 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 was, this would be a huge problem. You're giving them $10,000, you know that circle there, they plant, plant flowers there, and they plant some other flowers, and I think you could, for 1500 now they're asking for twenty five, and uh, that's 2017, 2018. Maybe they changed their name. But if this is, you know, if it comes from... Uh, uh, Nancy White, uh, I think her name is uh, Miss White, I forget her first name. Uh, Carla White, executive administrator. But I mean, if, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Absolutely a beautiful scam and a fraud. And it, it, comes, out of, it, it comes out of groups that uh, have better track records and have actually businesses and do their taxes, I would assume correctly. Uh, but in, in Carla White's you know, she's the, she's the, she's the uh, administrator and gets the salary for, gets as much as they spend on the, on the uh, beautification. She gets the same amount. And their husband's on the board of directors. I mean, they violate every, every standard of a uh, uh, nonprofit I, th I think there is. But, yeah, if, if they've changed their name, I wasn't aware of it. I thought it was. But I think you should, you should check those. I mean, uh, and see what you're giving him, giving him for, and what you're getting from. Getting from, uh, I know Derek Kennedy got a great letter from them, but I think for ten thousand dollars, maybe you should get a little bit. Uh, you should get a little bit more from them. Thank you. 